I made this and I made this. Oh, and I made this. Oh my goodness, I forgot about this one. I mean, keep watching to find out why I stopped crocheting. Hey, it's Kyla the Nangyao and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. And today is all about crocheting, but not really about arts and crafts, but all about how you can keep going with whatever fires you up, okay? So today we are talking about the book, Keep Going. The author of the book is Austin Kleon. The genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is self-help, okay? So I just gotta say, if you are thinking, oh, this book looks familiar, this book is a follow-up to Still Like an Artist. People are obsessed with Still Like an Artist. Oh my God, Still Like an Artist, Still Like an Artist, Artist Still Out Time, Still Like an Artist. I read it, I enjoyed it. This one blew my socks off, right? Because I've been podcasting for three years how do you keep going? I am launching podcasts for other people. How do they keep going? I was crocheting, I stopped. So yeah, let me read about how to keep going, <laughs> okay? So for starters, there's an entire chapter called Make Gifts. This blessed me so much. It just, it soothed my little soul because Austin talks about making gifts for people. One of the highest compliments that you can give to someone in this decade is, oh my God, you're so good at making a pie, you should run a bakery. Oh my God, you're so good at podcasting, you should teach other people. Oh my God, you're so good at crocheting scarves, you should sell them. And people tell me that. I learned how to crochet right before I went to law school in 2012. I started making scarves when I was in Baton Rouge because we randomly had this like code freeze you couldn't go to the local store and buy scarves because it was Louisiana. They don't typically stock scarves. And I started selling them, $25 a pop. And people bought them. And I was like, oh, I can earn money from things that I make, <laughs> right? And so then I started to make baby gifts, um, like baby blankets, and I would give them away as gifts to people. And then I did start to sell them. I created an Instagram page. I created an Etsy store called 19 Knits. I had this whole thing. And then I stopped crocheting because everything I do, all of my art does not have to be monetized, right? And so Austin writes about how everything you do does not have to be monetized. Leave the low hanging fruit. You enjoy crocheting, you can crochet a blanket in a whole day. You don't have to sell it. If it brings you joy, you don't have to monetize it. You don't have to monetize everything, right? And there's this list that he has a checklist for artists. He's like, leave money on the table. Could I make money selling the blankets? Yes. Do I not want to use my labor in my hands to crochet all day and then now I've lost the passion for it? Yeah, <laughs> right? Because I definitely have stopped crocheting even though I still have all the yarn. I absolutely just love to do it while I listen to audiobooks, but I haven't done it in a long time because I tried to monetize it and then I lost all of the excitement about it, right? And that's not gonna be the case with everything. I absolutely love podcasting and I love helping other people. And while I cannot make them love podcasting, for me, my whole thing was that I wanted more podcasts in the world. So I needed to start launching and editing podcasts for other people so that they could put their stories out there without being stressed out, right? Because that ties into my love of organizing things too. <laughs> but like, that just goes to show you, you can enjoy something and you can learn how to turn it into a business or you can just enjoy something and just enjoy it, right? How to keep going. Kyla, how to keep crocheting is to do it for fun, okay? Absolutely beautiful stuff. It got me through half of the stress of law school. I wouldn't be here if I kept going because that's the way things work, but I'm definitely picking it up again, okay? And there's something else here which is called Your Real Work is Playing. It's an entire subsection, it starts on page 68. And Austin writes about how when he is trying to work and he gets flustered, he runs out of ideas, he, whatever, his brain is fried. He takes a break and he plays with his kids. He has two boys. Sometimes he'll just draw, sometimes he'll sketch, sometimes he'll lay on the floor and just talk to them. When you see kids play, they are so intense. They gotta stack the blocks, they gotta roll out the Play-Doh, they gotta do, they gotta do. They are focused. And when we can take a break and we can play like a child, when we can completely zone out and get into what we are doing, when we can create for the sake of creating, it'll help you keep going because you will have so many ideas spinning. You will have so many new thoughts and stuff bubbling up when you are just focused on having fun with the Play-Doh, right? And so I really enjoyed that. I mean, how to keep going is everything. 
You can still like an artist. You can start the thing. How do you keep doing the thing? This book. A small book. Very, very good. All right. So if you are interested in how to keep going, you should also take a look at this book, which is all about how to crush imposter syndrome. Okay. And spoiler alert, you don't just crush it once, you crush it for that moment and then it'll probably show up again. All right. So take a look at this book review about being unapologetically ambitious and I'll see you in the next one.